Some crazy stuff happened this week. Dude, some shit went down. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, you guys. <laughs> I like, can't even put words together right now. We're so ridiculous. Um, but yeah, welcome back to Friends First, episode two. Super excited. Um, I'm just stoked to be here. Stoked to have you guys here. But we got to tell our friends first everything that's happened this week. So how was your week, Mariah? It was good. It was really good. Um, got back from California. Fresh off the plane, I went and saw where the crawdads sing. Fresh off the plane. Fresh off the plane. Like, same day? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Well, I got back at, like, I got back home at, like, midnight. No, it was later than midnight. And we went early the next morning. Oh, okay. So. It's within 12 hours. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Okay. The movie was so good. And like, I had read the book, so I was already really excited. I already loved the Taylor Swift song. Yeah. I love Reese Witherspoon. So I just knew that it was going to be a movie that I was going to enjoy. Yeah. Um. And I already had this, like, I just had visited the ocean, right? And there's this lyric in the song that says, it's between me, the sand, and the sea. Ugh, kill me. I know, ah. I know. So I'm like, oh, and every time I sit in front of, like, the ocean or the sea or anywhere, I think about, like, I don't know, maybe my secrets and just, like, how big the universe is. And it's Yeah, just... like, it makes, like, for me, like, sitting by the ocean, I feel that. Like, that line you just said is, like, so... I'm like, yeah, that's it. When you're sitting by the ocean, that's it. Right there. Yeah. And it's, like, everything you're feeling in that, whether it's, like, how big or how small all your problems are, or how big or small you are, it's just, like, it's just between you, the land, and the sea. Yeah. Or sand and the sea or whatever. Sand, yep. And a cool part of it is that I literally even had sand still on my scalp. Oh, girl. <laughs> Heck yeah. All Which is vibes. exciting if you're watching the movie in the Midwest. Like, if you're watching the movie on the coast, it probably wouldn't hit the same. But yeah. um, literally still had fragments of sand on me. Um, and I have such a, like, a renewed love of, like, marshland. And oh, okay. I just want to go explore the, like, marshlands of the Carolinas so bad now. Oh, it's beautiful over there. I've been over there, but, like, I, I wasn't a traveler when I went over there. So, like... Ooh, so it'll be different. Yeah. I definitely... I'm with you on that. And, like, even for me recently, like, the swamps of Florida, I'm like, I need to go check that out. Like, yeah. I love some... Florida. Yeah. So... I, I've been once. I wasn't, like, a super fan of what I saw, but I do feel like I need to give it a second <laughs> chance. So... I try to have this new perspective of, like, I love this for getting, getting to visit it once. Um while still respecting that you I could never live here. Yeah. Which is how I kind of view that like super humid heat and like swamp and all of the critters that come with that. Oh yeah. The bugs. I've seen some nasty bugs in Florida. Yeah. Ugh. Snakes. Gross. Reptilians. Count me of out. Any sort. I mean like the reptiles I can handle. But the bugs count me out. Frogs, toads. Oh yeah. Count me in for those. Hmm. They're so cute. Good to know. Yeah. Love, love me some reptiles. How was your week? Um, it was good. I went to Denver and my friend Marissa was putting on an organization, like shameless shout out to No More Lonely Friends. Yeah. Um, she put a meetup together also with Mountain Kids and there were like, I don't know, 100 people that showed up and we just hung out all day and I went down there. I haven't seen her since March, which was like when we met, so <laughs> which seems like wrong. Um, and Jordan as well, um, which I also met in March and I have seen him a couple times since then, but he lives in Denver and she lives in New York, but we all just like caught up and hang out, like hung out and it was like the chillest weekend ever. Like, oh. It was so good. I wanted to go so bad and I had an eight hour layover in Denver, which is where the meetup was. Yeah. Like literally the day before the day before and like uh, my plane left at like late. Yeah. It was like eight o'clock at night. And the meetup was the next day at, like, noon. Noon, yeah. Yeah, so that's so sad. for Bummer for me, I missed out. You know, you'll have to just, like, buy a ticket and fly to L.A. for the L.A. meetup. <laughs> L.A. again. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to L.A. three times in my life. Two of them were within a month of each other, basically. You, yeah, you might as well just make it rounded out at an even three for <laughs> the year. An, an odd three. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to say it's even. Even three. An even three, I should. <laughs> Lucky number three. Um, yeah, just show I up. do love LA. Yeah, LA's so. rad. 
And we're in the Midwest, which I keep bringing up, but I opened up my weather app today. It is 10 degrees hotter here than it is currently in LA. Yeah, I mean, I think that was, like, true for even our road trip because Ugh. we spent most of our time in, like, Southern California wrapped in hoodies. Yeah. Freezing. Yeah. I can't wait to give the lowdown of our road trip. Like... Oh, yeah. We really need to just, like... We obviously live... That. Yeah. We lived it together, but I can't wait to talk about it more. Yeah. It was so yeah, much fun. I feel like there were, like, some things on that trip that we... Haven't talked about. Yeah. Or, like, from your perspective or my perspective, like, what I'm excited to share. Yeah. Yeah. Something... That's coming up. Oh, and I definitely need to tell the tarantula story. <gasps> we'll get into that later. Oh. oh. Okay. But how was your... Okay, so tell me more about the meetup. Like, how did it go? It was so good. Like, I have never gone to, like, one of Marissa's meetups. They always, like, have looked so fun. And I honestly, like, had no idea what it was before I met her, which made it even cooler. Um, because she got to introduce me to it, like, as a friend instead of, like, as somebody who needs a friend, I guess. Yeah. But it was really cool to watch all of the people come in as, um, like, needing friends or wanting to meet people. Cool. Come in and just, like, everybody, like, group up in different ways and then switch groups throughout the day and, like, playing, like, Duck, Duck, Goose at one point. And, like, uh. I opted out of that because I was a little hungover. Um, so I just... And it was so hot outside. It was so hot. And so I just was like, I'm going to watch. And there were people just, like eating shit left and right, which, like, I kind of thought about before they started playing, but then I was like, no, it'll be fine. But no, you're an adult playing Duck, Duck, Goose. You have to run in a circle as fast as you can. And, like, if you're not an active person who runs every day, it's awkward. You're going to fall. And then, like, you're in the grass, and it was, like, this whole... And it was funny. Like, nobody got hurt, and nobody was, like, royally embarrassed, I don't think. But, like, it was so cool. And then, like, everybody was, like, playing volleyball. Saw a lot of people, like... Like, like genuinely making friends and like, that's so exciting. Yeah, I just thought it was. I just thought it was like super neat. Mm-hmm. And then um, a small group of us went to jazz in the park afterwards, which was like super chill. And the sunset was beautiful and got some mm-hmm. good like street food and stuff. So it was cool. It was a rad, rad weekend. That does sound like a really good week. Yeah, I needed it. <laughs> needed a friend break. I've been. <laughs> if you heard that noise, there's an air freshener in here. And I cannot make it stop. (laughs) Um, But I needed, like, a a good, like, friends weekend. Because I've just been traveling with my family since April. And I haven't really seen, like, aside from you, haven't really seen, like, (laughs) friends. (laughs) I'm a friend first. Yeah. But sadly, I fall into, not sadly, I also fall into a family-ish category, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like. It's all intertwined. Yeah. We're, I'm, cl- I'm close. Yeah. I'm close. So, um, how about Marissa? Is she as funny in person as she is online? Yeah. She's <laughs> freaking comical. Like, I can't get enough. Like, her and I, I don't know. We just, like, vibe. Like, we're always on the mm-hmm. same page. But, like, she just has a knack for people on another level. And it's just so good. Like, she's just so funny. And I can't wait for you guys to meet because I feel like the two of you together, I'm, I'll am i be the invisible friend and you two will, like, hit it off. <laughs> like, and yeah. I'll just be able to sit there and, like, laugh in the corner. <laughs> like, You should start doing ab workouts now because the amount of laughing you'll probably do that day. Oh, literally. Like, I laugh so much with you. I laugh so much with her. Literally, like, when I met her in Mexico and Costa Rica, between, like, her, Logan, and Jordan, I... I was sore, like, four days in. Like, my ribs were sore. And I was like, have we been working out? And then I was like, yes. no. And then I was like, you guys, like, is something wrong with me? I was like, why does my ribs hurt? Like, why do they hurt so bad? And then I started, like, pay attention throughout the day. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? And, like, we were sitting at dinner. And somebody cracked a joke and then just kept cracking jokes. And, <laughs> and I, like, like, immediately, like, my ribs started to hurt. I was like, you guys have murdered me. Like, I'm <laughs> sore from laughing. That's like, the second Laughing is the second best workout that's not a workout. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, like literally. (laughs) But yeah, she is a freaking riot and I love her so much. And it's just like cool to have friends that are like on the same page as you all the time, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to meet her one day. It's going to be so great. I'm glad the meetup went well. I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, I'm awesome. sour that I didn't get to go because you did ask me if I wanted to go and I was coming back from LA. Um, so it didn't quite work out, but then we missed our first flight. <laughs> yeah. And it <laughs> Always missing out. the flights. Yeah. And then I had an eight hour layover and I was like, I was a little salty, yeah. but it's okay. It's, it's okay. 
next time next time you'll definitely go to the next one for sure yeah um but yeah all right that's how the weeks were should we move into some crazy story because do you want to tell everyone where i'm sitting oh yeah how did i how could i forget this if you are watching on youtube and you listen to last week's episode and if you're listening to episode two and listen to episode one first of all thank you for making it that far really excited to have you here (laughs) second camo fomo Mariah is sitting in the camo chair right now, Mm -hmm. and this is the not super aesthetically pleasing space that I work out of, and that I sit in when I am am home. So Mariah's got the full vibes happening right now. Normally when I visit, I sit in that chair that you're sitting in. Yeah. I think this is my first time ever sitting in this chair, but I felt it appropriate. Yeah, it's comfy though, yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah, I would sit here and work. Yeah, now you know Play on my computer. Yeah. I get it. Cuddle the cats. Yeah. Well, sadly, no. (laughs) They avoid me. (laughs) I'm really nice. Like, little kids love me, animals love me, but sadly, Nikki's cats just kind of avoid me, but that's okay. Yeah. I don't take it personally. Yeah. They'll, they'll warm up. They, mm-hmm. I mean, they're doing pretty good. Yeah. But yeah. we'll see. It's, it's, it's like when they accidentally see me right away, um, that they're like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But like, if they get avoid me too long into a visit, then they're like, we've already gone this far. Like, we she probably forgot we existed. Yeah. yeah. We shouldn't come out. So. That's, yeah. a, that's what today is, and that's fine. Okay. Well, you know, they'll be all right. They might start scratching at the door. We'll see. <laughs> um, I think we should move into a crazy story that I've been dying to tell you. Dying to tell you. Ooh. Uh, every time I talk to you, I'm like, I want to bring it up or, like, make a joke about it, but I can't <laughs> because <laughs> you don't know it you, yet. Something that you can't tell. I'm so excited. Yeah, because I wanted to save it for this moment right here. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. Okay. So it is like, it, like your story was like really like funny and like chill last week, right? Like I would yeah. say it was like good vibes. Like overall had a positive vibe of like, good. Th- this is like so crazy. I can't even believe I let it go on. As Like I can't believe I made it as long as I did through this story, like through this whole situation. I'm literally gasping like and Jaw grasping. Right now. Yes. I'm literally <laughs> holding on to the camo chair for dear life because I don't know what's about to come out of your mouth. I'm ready. Okay. So I went on the cruise, as you know, and for those of you that don't know, I went on a 11 day cruise through Italy, Turkey, and Greece with my brother. I brought him along. It was like a work trip and like we had like VIP access, like all of this stuff. Like it's like, it sounds so bougie. I hate saying it out loud, but I feel like it's like, it has to be part of the story because it's just like, (laughs) we've talked about this before where sometimes talking about Nikki Like, it sounds like, it's hard to not make it sound like bragging. Yeah. And I, like, that makes it sound worse, probably. Yeah, it's, it's, like, so hard. Okay, so also, yeah. VIP access was my work trip. Yeah, Yeah. it's, like, a little ridiculous. But. But part of that VIP access that we had on the cruise ship was, like, we got, um, access to this lounge, right? Yes. So, and the people in this lounge are, like, typically older generations and, like, come from money typically okay so like or have a bunch of money so there's it's just a different vibe when you go in there right okay and me and my brother loved it in there loved the bartender like we didn't really like have any gripes with it at all like we'd love to be in there we just wish that we could bring like all of our friends in there but like yeah you can't so um we would just like go in there hang out with the bartender all the stuff and my brother would always go down there and wait for me while I was getting ready (laughs) Because he just, like, wanted to chat with people. Good for him. Yeah. He, like, freaking loves talking to people. We talk- I swear to God, we couldn't walk through that ship without, like, waving hi to somebody we had met, like, on the... like. That's cute. Yeah. Like, best friends with the, like, the captain and stuff. Like, it was great. But... Best friends with the captain. We're in the... Yeah. We're friends on Instagram now. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's, like, so nice. Um, anyway. That was a little daddy tribe. Anyway. We go into this... Like, we go into the lounge, like, every day. I walk in one day, and there's this, like, older gem- gentleman. It's, like, 7 o'clock, and he is pretty drunk. And my brother's sitting on, like, a side of the bar that, like, he hasn't been on before. And I was, like, what the heck? And he kind of gave me this look where I was, like, are we... Like, what? who's not vibing the right way? Because there were a bunch of people, like, talking to him. And, like, I walk in and, like, get closer to him, and this older man will call him Larry. Larry says... Oh my God, you must be Nikki. You're Marty's sister. You guys look just alike, which like we either get or we don't, which is like, whatever. I've never thought about if you look alike or not. Interesting. I think him and I look more alike than like my sister and I, but. Yeah. 
Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. I think I, I feel like I have a child picture of you guys sitting right next to me. Oh, no. Those are just, like, older photos from, like, I don't know, maybe five, maybe six years ago. I, I feel like you're, you and your brother look a lot alike, and your sister looks like your mom. Weird. I normally get that. I look like my mom. Not in this picture. I feel like if you saw our dad, you would think Ashley looked just like our dad. And okay. you would say I look like my mom. But I do think, like, we both look like our mom. Yeah. Like. Yeah. But it's like Ashley's more do, of I your guess. mom's coloring. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. I think that's fair. Okay. But anyway. Larry here is like, oh, you must be Nikki. And you guys look alike, whatever. And he goes, your brother was sitting across the bar and I just, like, don't let anybody sit alone. So, like, I made him come over and I was like, okay. And then he, like, started talking to me and it was, like, weird. And I, like, one of my friends had to, like, come with me. And, like, him and I sat down next to Larry and, like, the rest of these people. And, like, my friend is from Ireland and, like, Larry, like, figured that out and was, like, trying to ask him, like, his name. And, like, he's got a very interesting name and, like, thick accent, hard to understand. And, like... Larry was drunk and he goes, what's your name? And he like walks away and like, and was like, oh, I can't figure that out. Like, I'm not even going to try. Walks rude. away. Yeah. Oh. It was so rude. And then like my friend went to the bathroom and, um, Larry comes over to me and he's like, so how old are you? And I was like 28. And he's like, like gives me this weird up down. And I was like, okay. And then he's looking, like, at my hands and, like, my body and stuff. Like, it was so weird. I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. And he, like, says to me, like, this man has to be, like, 70 years old, right? And he's, like, has, like, little big man syndrome. <laughs> like, it's, like, just kind of, like, uncomfy. And you can tell he's, like, well, I have money. I get what I want, too. Like, uh, so it's kind okay. of just, like, ooh. And he, like, looks at my hands and he was, like, why do you have so many rings on? And I was, like, I have five rings. <laughs> And I, and like one of them, I like, I think I had just bought that day in Greece and I was like, cause I like them. And he goes, "Mm, okay. And I was like, what the heck? And then he like made a comment about me, like talking to Irish people and like liking Irish people and like, and he was like, oh, so like you're hanging out with Irish people. I was like, yeah. And he goes, oh, Okay. And, like, made some other weird comment that, like, I, I can't even remember because I was, like, that's so not cool. And I was, like, whatever. And I got him to, like, stop talking. And then I was, like, we gotta, like, leave. Like, Dip. we're gonna go to din- dinner. So we, like, dipped. We all dipped. And then... Give it the skip. Yeah. I was just, like, I'm out. And then I was, like, yeah. I hope I never come across that guy again. Give it the again. miss. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was, like, I just don't want anything to do with this man. Mm-hmm. So freaking weird. Made me uncomfy. Got, like, a little too close. And, like, somewhere in there he also slipped that I was old. Like, I'm 28. And like, so... Sir, yeah. you are more than double her age. Yeah. So, like, somewhere he, like, slips in there that I'm old, right? And I was like, whatever. This, like, pff, I don't have time for you. <laughs> and so, like, I just, like, left. A couple days later, we go and, like, go back into the lounge. And Larry is there. And Marty and I are with our friends, Keevan and Abby. And Keevan is the friend from Ireland. And then Abby is, like, another friend that we had made, like, in the time period between, like, running into Larry in the first place. And we walk in, and Larry is, like, giving Abby and I the full up-down. Like, and, like, we kind of have to walk in. Like, when you open the door, like, the bar and stuff is, like, in the back of the room. So you kind of have, like, this little runway (laughs) that, like, you're Uh, walking down. That everybody, like, yeah, like, turns and looks at you. And he, like... Larry is, like, right at the end of the bar, like, giving Abby and I, like, the up, down. And I was just, like, ugh, I'm already uncomfortable. And he, like, said something. And, oh, no, he didn't say anything. I went, hey, Larry, how's it going? I'm, like, trying to, like, make him a little bit uncomfortable. And, like, to catch him off guard. Like, I see you staring at us. Like, don't be weird. And he just, like, kept staring at us. It was super strange. And then Marty and Keeving sat down. And then Abby and I, like, went around the other side of the bar And we sat down because there were, like, people that my brother had made friends with that were also there. So, like, he was talking to them. And Larry just waltzed right right around the side of the bar and, like, comes over to me and Abby. And, like, I had gotten up and, like, went back over to, like, Marty and Keeving and, like, said something or something. And when I came back over, I could, like, tell Abby was uncomfortable. And then I, like, sat down. And, like, Larry is, like, saying to us, like, 
oh, like he's like asking us questions and like talking to us. And then all of a sudden I see him like scanning the room. And I was like, what is happening? Like, why are you scanning the room? And then he like leans in and starts like slowly like putting his hand like on the back of Abby's chair. No. And I was like, "Mm, no, I'm not into that. And he like had scooted closer to both of us. And then he started, like, he asked Abby, like, how old are you? And she was like, oh, 21. And he goes, oh, you're my age. You're the age I like. I am once again gripping the camo chair for your life. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, what is happening? And then he, like, looks at me. He goes, you're 28, right? And I was like, yeah. He goes, yeah, you're too old for me. And I was like, this is not happening right now. And then, like, the conversation switched back to, like, something really casual. And then again... He scans the room. Nobody's really paying attention to us. And he, like, starts saying something like, oh, you guys look like you have really soft lips. No. And I'm like, what is this conversation right now? And he keeps scooting closer to us. And, like, Abby and I are facing each other in the bar chair. So, like, we're backs to the people on either side of us. And he's, like, on the outside of the bar. So, like, our knees are facing each other. And then, like, he walked away for a second, and Abby tells me that before I came over, he was tracing her tattoos on her arm. Oh. Like, fully, like, oh, these are nice. Like, what are, what did, what does this mean? And, like, stuff like that. And she was like, what the hell? And then, like, we're sitting there, again, casual conversation, and this guy gets closer and makes another comment, and he goes, you guys should just kiss. And we were like, no. And and then he proceeds to tell us about his wife and his girlfriend. And he goes, you guys are younger than my girlfriend. And I'm like, is your wife on board with you? And he's like, yeah, she's up in the room. Like, she's already going to bed. It's like 730. I'm like, no, your wife is off having her own fun. But like, Hopefully. y'all need to like get it together because this is unacceptable. It's so uncomfy. And then he's like telling us that his wife used to have soft, soft lips and that like, his girlfriend's lift, lips are soft, but he bets ours are softer. And, like, he wants us to kiss. And we're just like, no. And then at some point, he's asking me a question. My hair's down. And he puts his hand over, like, behind, like, on the back of my chair. All of a sudden, he's reaching up, and his hand is on my back. And he grabs my hair, Mariah. No. And pulls it. And pulls it enough that, like, my head, like, jerks back. Oh, my God. Where was Keeving and your brother? They were on, so, like, the people they were talking to were, were, like, behind me and around the corner of the bar, and they were, like, on the other side. It was, like, a U-shaped bar, and we're, like, on the bottom of the U, and they were, like, around the other side, and they were talking to these people and, like, having a good time, and so this man, like, pulls my hair, and I was, like, that did not just happen, and then he, like, reaches over and, like, touches Abby again in, like, a really weird way, And, like, it just kept getting more and more and more uncomfortable. Did you finally leave? And he kept, like, asking us to kiss. And I was like, no. And then Abby looks at me and goes, do you want to go to the bathroom? I was like, yeah, I think it's time for a bathroom break. And we get up, and he's, like, trying to block us both into the thing, into the chair. Like, he's grabbing both of our, the backs of our chairs so we can't, like, get out. And he was like, please, can you just, like, kiss before you go? And... I was just like, nope, I'm it. This is it. I've had enough. And I, like, got out of the chair and I walked to the corner and, like, I knew. I was like, my brother is right here. I'm going to say something really loud and my brother's going to get set off. And I was like, oh, no, you would have to pay a lot of money to see that. And, like, I said it so the whole bar stopped. Everybody, even, like, our bartender friend, Olympia, she was like, what just happened? And, like, everybody in the bar stopped and Abby and I, like, whoop, out the door. We were like see you later and immediately marty was like what happened he was like what did you say to my sister like what did you say to my friend like up in this guy's face and like we just like left and i was like cool (laughs) and i come back in and larry is like running to the door please tell your brother that like i didn't make you leave and like you guys just left and you had to go to the bathroom and it was like this whole thing i was like oh like you made me uncomfortable i actually don't have to go to the bathroom yeah but like cool yeah and it was, like, so uncomfortable. And, like, even Keeving was like, what the hell just happened? Oh. 
And then, crazy. like, all the other guys that were, like, sitting there that my brother was talking to, they were like, that guy's so creepy. Like, that's so messed up. Like, I can't believe that, like, they said all of that to you or he said all of that to you. And I was like, yeah. Like, it was so uncomfortable. And, like, Abby and I walked out of there and we're like, what just happened? Like, it was so, like, one of those, like, wow, this is, like, truly how people, like, prey on people. Like, it was so crazy to, like, watch him, like, scan the room and be like, nobody's paying attention. Let me be inappropriate. Oh, creepy. Yeah. It, it was, creepy. like, Do so... Do you know where he was from? Somewhere in the U.S. Oh. I don't remember. Sad. But, yeah. It was, like, so freaking weird, dude. And... Like, there were other, like, creepy things that happened on board, like, but yeah. that was, like, definitely the creepiest thing, and I was just, like, how in the world did I end up in this situation? Like, and all I could think is, like, you know, I listen to freaking My Favorite Murder. Why didn't I fuck politeness? Like, I listened yeah. to that all day. Yeah. Like, because it was so uncomfortable. You did. You did fuck politeness. I mean, he didn't want you to leave the chair. So. Yeah, but I should have, like fucked politeness like uh, a little sooner but that's okay yeah like it you shouldn't got to the it. point where he was like touching abby and i like it was yeah. so weird and i like really wanted to like complain and be Plus like pulling your hair with your new extensions in yeah <laughs> rude <laughs> <laughs> like you you diverted our whole road trip so you could go get those damn things in sure did he's sure lucky did. he didn't ruin them yeah <laughs> but i was just like how are you gonna pull my hair like, it's so weird. It was so weird. It was, like, one of those things, like, my, like, neck jerked back, and I was, like... How do men get the audacity? The, like, old, old men. How do old men get the audacity? Why would you ever think that's okay? I have no idea. It's so weird. Like, and he really, like, and it wasn't, like... Like, it wasn't, like, this was the first time he tried it. You know oh, what I mean? Okay, yeah. Like, maybe, maybe fuck politeness a little sooner. Yeah. Like, I feel like he just goes on cruises... And, like... Finds girl finds girlfriends. Yeah, and, like, that's how he, like, finds his prey, essentially. Oh, sad. Yeah, it's, like, it was so freaking creepy. And Abby and I both were, like, what the heck? And, like, I'm 28, Abby's 21. So, like, she's also, like, younger to the game, too. Yeah. Not that, like, she probably hasn't had her fair share of, like, weird moments. But it was still, like, one of those things where I was, like, oh, my Lanta. Like, yeah. I'm glad you escaped. Yeah, it was so crazy, but there, yeah, I'm just, like, happy I finally got to tell you that story, because yeah. it was so insane. I'm glad it ended the way it did, because it could have gotten a lot worse. Yeah, and pretty much every time he saw us after that, he, like, left the lounge. Good. Shortly, Good. Shortly thereafter. Yes. Because. What I like to hear. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we, I think we maybe saw him one more time after that. Maybe not, but it was so uncomfy, and I was wow. just like, this is a crazy story. Yeah, I feel like, like, I don't travel all the time and stuff like that happens, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, oh, Interesting. Like, so creepy. Well, that brings us to our ick of the week. Yeah. <laughs> What's your ick of the week? Okay, my ick of the week. Oh, this pains me to say. Disney adults. <laughs> In what capacity? Like, cringy Disney adults, because I love me some, like, princess stuff, and I think Minnie Mouse is so cute, um, but if your whole house is decorated in very <laughs> in-your-face Disney, I'm not talking cute, subtle things, like, I have a mermaid-themed bathroom, and I have a little plastic fork in there, like, that's a subtle nod to Ariel. Yeah. I'm talking where you have Winnie the Pooh's face plastered on everything. Yeah. And, like, yeah. um, it's your whole personality. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Like, I'm, I can't do that. I had a roommate that was, like, a, a version of a Disney adult. No. And it was, like, not fun. I, and now, like, looking back, 2020 vision, like, we, there was a falling out. Maybe that's actually probably a story I should tell. <laughs> Let me write that down right now. It was maybe directly because she was a Disney adult and you didn't even realize it till this moment. I mean, I feel like she definitely, I don't remember if she had like a Disney obsession. But... I can't wait to tell you about my college roommate, my first college dorm roommate. She, oh my God, Nikki, that's such a good story. I feel like I have all the college roommate, roommate stories. Okay. Yeah. I, have, yeah, I literally have whole... all the, oh. Um... Last year for my birthday, I went to Disney World 
And then this year, for my mom's birthday, we went to Disneyland. So I went to both Disneys within, like, a year of each other. That's cool, though. So I'm sliding closer to Disney Adult because, like, I have such fun memories. So I get it. Yeah. Um, oh, cutest side note. My youngest niece, she just turned three. She loves Minnie Mouse, but she calls Minnie and Mickey Mouse both Mickey Mouse. And you know all of the original cast, like Pluto, Daisy and Donald Duck, whatever? Yeah. She calls them all Mouse. So she got this new Daisy Duck plush, and Aww. she snuggles it, and she goes, look at my ducky mouse. You mean just the oh, I love that so, so much. cute. That's yeah, so and so that cute. makes me love Daisy Duck so much. I want Daisy Duck on everything. Yeah. But, um, That's so cute. Not in an ick way. Yeah. Okay, my ick of the week. I'm just going to give, like, a quick one. Okay. Public hip thrusting. No. <laughs> like, just don't. Oh. Don't do that. Like, yeah. I don't... I've seen too many... I don't know why, but all of a sudden I'm seeing a lot of that in public. <laughs> like, oh. I just can't. Like, it's never appropriate. For anyone watching, I feel like you should just show them what you mean by that. I feel like it's pretty <laughs> explanatory. I don't need to show it. I don't Sorry, need to ick <laughs> myself out. <laughs> no free ick content here, I guess. Oh, nasty. Oh. Like, oh, I can't. Can't do it. It just drives me nuts. But okay. well, maybe next week we'll talk about some icky roommates. Yeah, that might be a good. I can't wait. It to might talk. be a long one for me, honestly. My palms are getting so sweaty thinking about it because I would be so mortified if my past, if either of my past roommates ever heard this. Oh and yeah, if any of my roommates heard it. Whew, I'm getting like sweaty thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think the one roommate I want to talk about will hear anything. Good. Oh, maybe she will. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know. She recently unblocked me from TikTok and then liked one of my videos, so it makes me feel a little like she's watching me, but... She's gonna know. She's gonna know. But that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll hide. I'm not gonna say her name or anything, but... Okay. Um, Well, that is the episode for the week. Thank you guys so much for listening. Mm -hmm. Be sure to do all of the things that you do for a podcast. Subscribe check it out on youtube i don't know there's it's everywhere let us know what you're liking yeah we do have a gmail now so if you want to write us about anything feel free it's friends first podcast at gmail.com yep so you can send us in some of your cringy stories too Ooh, uh, that'd be so fun what if we did like episodes where like people wrote in yeah you should tell us i love that send us a quick paragraph of like your icky roommate story i can't wait to hear about them yeah or like some crazy creep story that you've had yeah because yeah. i would love to i would love to read a couple of those mm-hmm. we'll see i love like little like small episodes where people do the, do stuff like that with yeah. listeners so all righty cool. we will see you guys next week Bye. Love you, bye. Love, love you, bye. bye. <laughs> it's actually love you, good night. But... Oh, should we say that? Yeah. Love, love you, you, good night. night.